they tear it out with talons of steel? Or give you a shot so you wouldn't feel? Or wash it away like it wasn't real? I changed. I used to be this person who just ran away from responsibility, but I'm not him anymore. I want to be a part of our child's life. Absolutely what I want. Well, don't give it a name. Don't give it a place. Don't give it a chance. It's lucky, in a way. The hills across the valley were long and white. The American and the girl with him sat at a table in the shade. After a long silence, she looked out across the valley, and she spoke. The hills. <laughs> they look like white elephants, don't they? I wouldn't know. I, I've never seen one. No. <laughs> you wouldn't have. <laughs> if you want to keep it, make it right. Put it to sleep at night. And squeeze it until it can say you decide what's wrong. In 2002, Planned Parenthood advertised that 77% of anti-abortion leaders were male. 100% of them would never be pregnant. <laughs> well, this is true. Abortion has been primarily a woman's issue. But this does not mean that men are not concerned with their right to be a father. A program, from the male's perspective. Why is it that when it happens to a human, it's called an abortion? And when it happens to a chicken, it's called an omelet? <laughs> are humans so much better than chickens? Name six ways that humans are better than chickens. See, it can't be done. <laughs> you know why? Because chickens are decent people. <laughs> and when's the last time you heard anything about a chicken coming home and beating the shit out of his hand? <laughs> but let's get back to this abortion shit. Now, the central issue seems to be fertilization. Fertilization, when the sperm fertilizes the egg, which is usually a couple of seconds after the man says, Oh, gee, honey, I was going to pull out, but the phone rang and it startled me. <laughs> fertilization. <laughs> the hills across the valley were long and white. The American and the girl with him sat at a table in the shade. Chicken, it's not, it, it's not a complicated Operation. It's not even really an operation. I mean, they just let the air in, and then it's it's perfectly natural. And then afterwards, <laughs> afterwards, it'll be just like before. Okay. So, did you just tell me that you were pregnant, and that you had an abortion, and you didn't tell me? I mean, you. You didn't call me? I mean, I could have been there. I, I could have done something. I, I could have comforted you. No, just give me a second. I mean, give me a second to get used to living with this for the rest of my life. I mean, did you cry? Yeah? Then let me have a second to feel bad about this. I mean, this is fucked up. This is fucked up, and it's wrong. You tell that twist to lay up off my wife, okay? <laughs> She's been at it again, every rest period. She's telling her, why don't you have it cut out? Why don't you get rid of it? She's giving my Ruby the jumps. I'm not going to have my wife upset by no trap like her, okay? <laughs> ah, abortion. It's a woman's issue. You see, when a woman gets pregnant, she doesn't want to hear shit from the man. Fuck you! I don't need you, mother! Fuck you! <laughs> Unless she decides to have the baby. And then it's a little bit more like, where's my check? Hmm? You see, abortion is something for the women. It's a central issue between women and their girlfriends. <laughs> they have a sort of abortion tribunal, much like the hit television show Survivor. They <laughs> cast in their votes and decide whether or not the baby should be voted off. <laughs> now, let me tell you something. You should have that baby. That man's got some good hair. It's wavy. <laughs> and the other one says, chat, why are we even talking about this? And the way you're having that baby, Ain't we supposed to be going to Cancun next week? And that is how life is decided in America. <laughs> Long ago, I discovered that 
Sometimes it was the women who needed to be delivered. You have to be willing to play God. And, uh, killing church mice is as close as I want to come to play God. I wouldn't have you do anything you don't want to do. Okay? I mean, I'm perfectly willing to go through with this if that means anything to you. She smiled brightly at him. Do you feel any better? I feel fine. There's nothing wrong with me. I feel fine. Now, fellas! If you should happen to get a woman pregnant, do not suggest abortion. <laughs> Sorry, fellas. Because if you suggest abortion, and she doesn't abort that baby, in about five years, he's going to be cursing your ass out. Hey, little man. How's it going, little man, huh? How you doing? I'm alive, motherfucker! <laughs> you want to be dead, huh, biatch? <laughs> man, I should pop a cap in your ass. <laughs> you don't need that drama. So do not suggest abortion. 6 a.m. Day after Christmas. Throw some clothes on in the dark. Smell cold. The car seat is freezing. The world is sleeping. And I'm not. Up the stairs to her apartment, and she's balled up on the couch. Her mom and dad went down to Charlotte, so they're not home to find us out. And the drive. Now that I've found someone, I'm feeling more alone than I ever have before. Okay. They call her name at 7.30. I pace around the parking lot. Walk down to buy her flowers and sell some gifts that are good. You see, that it's not me you're dying for. And as weeks went by, it showed that she was not fine. And they told me, son, it's time to tell the truth. And she broke down, and I broke down because I was tired of lying. back to her apartment. The moment we're alone. She's alone. And I'm alone. And now I know. She's a brick. And I'm drowning slowly off the coast. I didn't know her. She's a brick. And I'm drowning. I'm not suggesting that my pain, the pain felt by any male, can rival that of a female. But it should be addressed. Abortion is an issue which touches all of us. It's weird, you know? Finding stuff out like that like, later on in life. And I, I had no idea that. I wasn't playing. I'm not sure what difference that really makes. Mine wasn't playing. I couldn't love her any more than I already do. Still, I just don't like knowing that my whole life was some accident, you know? I mean, there's a sort of fatalism in that that I just don't buy. It's too fucking random. We make choices, but surely we're more than just things that happen. Right? 